our garden really blossoms in summertime and it blossoms more than it does in springtime, believe it or not. All the flowers are out and the bees are buzzing. And you know, when we bought our house, it was coming, driving into this driveway that really sold us the house and buying this property because of the beautiful garden. So the previous owners had planted it out with Australian natives and they'd really put a lot of thought into the way they designed their garden and everything really thrives up here in the Sunshine Coast hinterland because we get plenty of rain and plenty of sun. So it's so pretty, isn't it, seeing the sun rays come through the garden, through the trees, and we're surrounded with butterflies and bees and birds, and it's just such a wonderful place to live. So we just wanted to share that with you today. This is what our garden looks like in summertime, where we live in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. And this is where our, our chooks love pecking around in the garden and scratching on the ground and eating worms and bugs and things. When it's warm in summertime, the bees do this. It's called bearding, and that's because they're outside fanning themselves and keeping themselves cool in this warm weather. And this banana plant, you might remember we planted it. Bananas are uh, almost ready. It's really growing well. And we're so glad in this summer that we've got our swimming pool because I've spent a lot of time, and so is Paul. We've really enjoyed having swims every day. And that noise that you can hear are the black cockatoos. It doesn't look very great now, but it's just a gluten-free banana bread mix and it has three bananas in it and cinnamon. And um, I'm just trying it out. It's just a practice run because my brother can't have gluten. So I thought I'd make it today this afternoon and Paul and I can have, see how it turns out and have a piece with a cup of coffee later. It turned out all right. Yum. So today's video is a little bit different. You know, a lot of people write to us and tell us that they're moving to Queensland from interstate or within the state, but some people move from overseas which is just such a massive thing, isn't it? Such a huge, huge lifestyle change. So we know, we get so many emails from people that are doing this move and ask us questions and things. And we know one family who's moving here in the next few months from overseas and they have children. And we know the area that they're living in. They're looking at living in the Noosa, Twanton area. And where I'm sitting right now is in the I think it's the Memorial Park in Twanton and I have the beautiful Noosa River behind me and I'm sitting under this Royal Ponciana tree which is absolutely beautiful um, and as I'm sitting here I can hear a boat coming up behind me and I know you'll be living fairly close to here so for this little family I just wonder maybe you'll have a boat I'm, I'm guessing you probably will or at least you're going one and I'm imagining your kids will be paddle boarding, swimming, cycling along this river and I just wanted to give you a bit of a glimpse of what your neighbourhood would look like. Do you know what I really like about Twanton? I really like that it's so close to Noosa. Noosa's literally just over there but it's so and it is part of the Noosa Shire. We never forget that. Twanton is so nice. You can walk along here just see a few people occasional boat going past it's such a pretty spot such a really nice spot I can imagine for this family they're gonna have a very nice lifestyle here how awesome is that Moreton Bay fig tree they're so beautiful and they grow so huge so you don't have trains in Twanton but you do have buses and this is a new Civic shopping centre so this large indoor shopping centre is somewhere we think this family will go to to do their shopping and it has the Woolworth supermarket and lots of other shops. And we can imagine this family driving along Nooseville here, along the Noosa River. One of our favourite spots right next door to Tawantan is down here at Nooseville. 
and we spend a lot of time down here coming down to the river and walking around or dining at one of the nice restaurants and we can imagine that this family will also do the same which is something for them to look forward to. This here are the group of shops at Tuonton. So Tuonton does have its own little supermarket and group of shops for day-to-day uh, -day things that you'll need. So you've got that as well. I've popped into the local visitor centre because I want to ask a local what it's like living in Tuonton. So how do you like Tuonton? Yeah, no, it's nice. Does it feel a little bit, it, to me it kind of feels a little bit less busy than Noosa, you know, touristy-wise, yes. is that yes. fair to say? Yes, 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 we don't get as many tourists. It's nice going to the supermarket, there's not so many tourists. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. And is the Visitor Information Centre always looking for volunteers? Yes. The volunteers do a wonderful job at the information centres. So, um, there you go, you've heard it from a local, that it's a beautiful place to live. It's a little bit quieter, like I said before than say Noosa and Noosaville that can get crazy busy during the holiday times and also during the weekends. So um, thank you guys for your input today and we've actually, actually got another volunteer um, on the other side of the camera and he is um, doing the camera work for us today. So thank you Bruce. You're welcome. Well this is a nice street. Can you hear the crickets? And there's a bit of a breeze. It's beautiful. It's probably about 28 degrees, 30 degrees in Noosa right now. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what a school is like. Um, there's a few good schools up here in the Noosa area and this one's called St Teresa's in Noosaville and it has an excellent reputation. And next door to it is also the primary school. So um, there are a choice of schools up here and we're sure that your children will be very happy. Sorry you don't really see a lot. But it's kind of nice, you know, depending on which country country you come from. Our schools up here anyway, this one has tinted glass, air conditioning, louver windows, because you need that when you live in Queensland. Okay, just a quick stop. This is Noosa State School. And what I love about these schools up here on the Sunshine Coast is they have so much land, you know, so they can do fantastic for outdoor sports and, and things like that. And they always have their assemblies outside for the school. So, have a look at this one. I think it's pretty cute. What do you think? And finally, these are what the houses look like in Tewantan, or some of them anyway. So it can give you a bit of an idea on the sort of housing that you might find yourself living in. We hope that's been a little bit of a help for that family. Okay, so we're a little bit jealous because now you're going to live very close to our favourite SIE bowl place, Olakino, which is in Noosa. Earthlings. <laughs> it looks like we're going to the moon, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's more exciting than going to the moon, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. well, hopefully it is. <laughs> um, hopefully you get to see all this video because today we're doing our first honey harvest. Yep. Very exciting. We're yep. just going to take one frame. We've got a few frames that are really full, but we'll just do one and we'll see how we go. And wish us luck. This is a, a observation window where we can check to see that they're going well. You can see there's honey here. Now I've had a look inside and both of these uh, are fully capped. Fully capped means that the, the bees are satisfied with the moisture content in the honey and it's ready to to harvest. Even though it doesn't look full on the outside no. here? It's only this last bit because I actually pulled one out before to check that it was fully capped. It's this last row okay. and that's fine. Okay. In commercial operations, they, anything 70% and above they'll harvest. Okay. But so uh, we're pretty good. So this little observation, it's a very nifty way they've designed this. Okay. How many percent do you think we are? <sighs> 99. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we've got the little pouring tube that comes with the hive. It's got a little uh, lip here. Yep. So what you do, you can just... Use that lip, takes out the cap. Oh, okay. Oh, that's Put nifty. the cap down there, and yep. this bottom with this little gap there, and you just push that into there. Oh, wow. And then... I'm nervous. Oh, well, Do you yeah. think we can do this without making a mess? Who knows? Because um, once it starts flowing, it just keeps flowing, doesn't it? It does. So we've got all our jars ready. Yep. So I've turned that. Yep. Here it comes. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> oh, wow. How cool is that? That's awesome. Oh, wow. Our own honey, hey? The first lot. It's got the jar over it. Mm. That's sick, don't you? Gee, it's really coming. 
Oh, can you do this without making a mess? Go. Oh, very good. Not bad. Not there bad. How's that, eh? Our first jar of honey. That's so exciting. Mm. So we're pretty excited. We've got four big jars and we're just filling up our fifth one. We're just going to empty one of the frames today and we're going to give some honey to our neighbours. So what do you think of my cake? It's great. I was a bit dubious because it was gluten free. Oh. But it looks really good. Mm. It's very light and fluffy. Mm. And it tastes amazing. You know, banana, really banana. -y. Yeah, there's three bananas in there. Mm. It's really good. Molly's, Molly's a bit hot, so she's puffing. You can probably hear her puffing. And looking for food. And, yeah, she's always looking for food. And she's just being fed, so she doesn't eat anymore. She's pretty overweight as it is, isn't she? Because yeah. she eats the chicken's food as We're well. We're trying to keep her on a diet, but it's hard. Yeah, we are. Anyway, we hope you um, enjoyed our funny little video this week. A little look around our garden and what we've been up to and um, good luck to that family that's coming from overseas with their children and we wish you all the very best and for everyone that moves mm. it's such a big thing isn't it moving to Queensland interstate or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah it is overseas. a big thing mm. so um, wherever you are we hope you have a great week this week and we'll see you next week see you everyone see ya <laughs>